Yeah, I think most people have noticed chemtrails because it's not natural to have something crisscrossing in your, in your sky and staying around for hours. I think most people have noticed chemtrails because it's not natural to have something crisscrossing in, in your sky and staying around for hours. Chemtrail looks like a jet um, fume, but the uh, the jet um, discharge only lasts for about 15 or 16 seconds. Whereas the chemtrail lasts for hours. And you can also see it keeps getting wider and wider. And if you look at it closely, it's dripping things. From a former worker at the Oak Ridge nuclear plant, I found that uh, the approach of our government to chemtrails is twofold. One is they think if they put metals up there over places where there were cities or groups of people, they could deflect the sun's rays back up again and so they could combat global warming. It's a kind of crazy, but anyway, that's one of the reasons. The other is um, what they're calling aerial pharmacopoeia. Uh, 
I think they're outrageous. They don't belong in our sky. And they're uh, probably messing up things they don't even know about. We don't need this kind of dosing the population with uh, unknown chemicals and messing up the body metabolism. I think they're also a carrier for all kinds of biological and chemical warfare. So I don't think they're dropping them on us right now, but they seem to be preparing. They're getting people used to seeing these things and they're getting the military used to doing it. That's weird. Yeah. Like it stopped it for a second. Right. right. It turned off. Look at that. They're getting people used to seeing these things and they're getting the military used to doing it. They're practicing and they're probably practicing with things they consider relatively harmless, whether they really are. You know, we get fooled by a living system. Things that we think are harmless are not. I find it very reckless to be putting things into the atmosphere without telling people, uh, without knowing what they're going to do. It's certainly an outrageous approach to global warming. They ought to be joining the Kyoto uh, Pact and uh, reducing the uh, harmful emissions, not adding more to the atmosphere. I saw them over Paris. When, they, when you come in from overseas and you're up above the clouds, they're all crisscrossed like a checkerboard over Paris. Uh, it's over Geneva. It's, uh, you know, so I mean, I've seen this myself. I'm sure it's over other countries. It's in England. It's in uh, Belgium. So, you know, it's all over. They're doing this all over the earth. They totally deny it. They just say it's, uh, it's just the exhaust from a jet motor. They totally deny it. People have been trying to find out all over, uh, you know, what it is. That has to be collusion, yes, because it's all over. I don't know. I mean, I don't know whether it's just Western Europe and and the U.S. or because I haven't been in Asia recently, and I so I don't know whether they have it there. I mean, this might be just shared among friends. Yeah.